Going virtual. How to communicate and remain present in the class. This video is being created to provide faculty members with resources and instructions on how they can communicate and remain present with their classes if they choose or have to move their content online and into a virtual environment. The first product that someone can use or a faculty member may be able to use is how to record a presentation with Panopto. This link this link provides faculty members with instructions on how they can record with Panopto. A second product that faculty members can use is Flipgrid. The instructions below provide faculty members with instructions on how they can get started on using Flipgrid to create mini lectures as well as allowing students the opportunity to create videos and interact with the faculty member similar to the discussions that would take place in a face-to-face -face class. Students can watch these videos and they can create assignments from the videos as well. Faculty members can also create virtual class sessions in Zoom to answer any questions for students and promote social presence. Furthermore, faculty members can create a video introducing new chapters, informing students about the learning outcomes, requirements for successful completion of coursework, and conclude chapters or units with a summary of the learning outcomes and main points. Faculty members can also use their phone and record a quick video and upload the video into their course shell in Blackboard. Faculty members can also conduct a synchronous class online. Zoom meetings provide a robust platform for online collaboration and meetings, pairing full video and audio conferencing capabilities with content sharing and cloud recording. There are also features in Zoom that allow you to replicate the classroom experience, including screen sharing, whiteboards, breakout rooms, and sharing videos. Zoom also has polling mechanisms where you can ask students questions, engage the level of understanding in that Zoom session. Each of these hyperlinks are available to you. They're clickable and they'll take you to a website to provide you with instructions on how to set up Zoom meetings. If you have a student who has an accommodation, please work with Accessibility and Support Services. Here's an example of the directions that are provided for faculty. Zoom meetings provide a robust platform for online collaboration. This website provides a wealth of information and instructions on how faculty members can get started. You can also communicate with your class through Blackboard. Announcements are an ideal way to post time-sensitive information critical to course success. Add announcements for due dates for assignments, projects, changes to your syllabus, corrections, clarifications of materials, and exam schedules. Course messages are private and secure text-based communication that occurs within your course and among course members. Although similar to email, 
you must be logged into a course to read and send course messages. Message activity remains inside the system and you don't have to worry about email addresses that may be incorrect or outdated. Online discussions allow students to take time to ponder before they post ideas. You can observe as students demonstrate their grasp of the material and correct misconceptions. You can extend your office hours and reach students more often during the week so that learning is continuous. The email tool allows you to send email to other people in your course without launching a separate email program such as Outlook or Gmail. You can send email to individual users or to groups of users. As with the last slide, announcements, course messages, online discussions, the email tool, each one of these is hyperlinked and provides you with instructions on how to create an announcement or course message simply by clicking on the link like this. Here you have instructions on how to create announcements. In addition, there are other tools that are available to you within Blackboard that are clickable on this page. Lastly, communication guidelines and expectations. Communicate with your students. Establish and set communication guidelines with your students. Let your students know when they can expect to hear from you. It is imperative to remain present and respond to students in a timely manner. Students should reasonably expect a response from a faculty member within 24 to 48 hours. For questions and any additional resources, contact Online Education and the Center for Teaching Excellence. We can be reached by clicking on either one of these two links.